All right, so I know some of our biggest news for today. Um, it shouldn't have been a surprise. Uh, it's something that virtually every state now is having to do. Uh, Ohio, Indiana, even Tennessee announced it. And that is uh, my recommendation that we not have in-person classes through the rest of the school year. Now, I know for many, this is hard. We had seniors uh, that were looking forward to an in-person graduation and a prom. Uh, I've got a son who's graduating from elementary school. And we have every student out there that has uh, lost this time to be able to be with their classmates and therefore for in-person instruction. It's going to be a little bit harder uh, because it, it doesn't look like at this stage we're going to be able to have a regular in-person graduation and certainly can't have a, an in-person prom. And it's not fair if you're watching. It's not. But a, a worldwide pandemic has hit us and those of you who are missing out on these opportunities, uh, we need your help and we need your sacrifice. And ultimately the, the experience you're losing is hard. Uh, but, but your willingness to do it is, is going to help us save lives. And regardless of what age that, that you're at, whether graduating from an elementary or a middle school, a high school, or even a college, uh, this shouldn't have to be asked of you, but, but it is. This is a time that we are all called on uh, to do more than maybe we ever thought uh, we could, but knowing what the, what the stakes are. Uh, so to all of you, I understand your disappointment, but, but thank you. Uh, thank you for your willingness to help other people. Just because you might not be there for an in-person uh, type of service doesn't mean that your achievement isn't just as uh, amazing. And you know, I think that you will look back. And I think what you'll be able to say is, you know, in that year, I wasn't able to do what everybody else had been able to do before. But nobody else could say that by having their graduation differently, uh, they protected people's lives and, and their health and each and every one of you that's giving something up are doing exactly that and we appreciate you uh, and, and that's a, a gift to, to Kentucky uh, and to humanity Good afternoon, Westport. We are very excited to have you here virtually today to celebrate uh, what is the ending of your middle school career. Now, we usually have our promotion program in our gym with large groups of all your friends and family that can make it. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not able to do that this year. We're going to be working through your pro, uh, program virtually. So we're going to have all those same elements that we pack into our promotion programs, but we're going to be doing it virtually this year. One of the things that we've learned throughout this school year and ultimately throughout our middle school experience is the power of perseverance. And the one thing that one of the elements of our backpack of success skills is resiliency. And that's one thing that I know our eighth graders have shown us throughout these last several weeks where we've been going through NTI, non-traditional instruction. We are very excited for what you guys have shown us over these last several weeks and that it ultimately is an indicator for all that you have learned during your middle school career. You've had three years to prepare for this and this was almost an opportunity for you guys to have that independent learning experience. And we wanna make sure that you understand how impressed we are with all that you've been able to accomplish. And we are, couldn't be more excited to know that we are preparing a great group of kids to transition and be successful at high school. That's what middle school ultimately is. It's a preparation ground and make sure that you are kind of getting through those years leading up to middle school or through up to high school. We wanna make sure that you know um, that all the work that we've put into, all the things that we've done, to make sure that you are ready for this moment, that you are ready to make that transition, that just a few years ago, you transitioned to middle school and here you are now transitioning again to high school. Now, when you go on to high school, you'll find new groups of friends. You'll have all sorts of great opportunities that will be afforded to you about being a part of whatever high school you choose to go to. But one of the things we want you to know is that you're always a Westport Warhawk that once you're a Warhawk, you're always a Warhawk and you're always welcome back. 
And I know we didn't have the opportunity to have uh, kind of that eighth grade send off like we love to have and we always traditionally have. We want to make sure that you know that you're always welcome to stay in touch. Come in and check in and visit with your teachers. Uh, check in on the old uh, Westport Middle School and just see that things are still there and you are, are certainly an important part of our history. Now, we wouldn't be able to get here without the support of a number of people. And we've had a tremendous group of teachers that have helped you over these last three years. The staff here at Westport is second to none. And we couldn't be more proud of all the work that they've put in and that, they've, that you've put in over these last three years, and especially these last several weeks, uh, to get you to this point. But we also have another group of folks that we need to thank. We've all got a lot of family members, parents, siblings, uh, dear ones, loved guardians, everyone who has helped us get to this point. We can't get here by ourselves. It takes the support of everyone around us to help make this happen. And I wanna make sure that we thank all of those who have helped get you to this point. So just know that if you are a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, a guardian, aunt, uncle, whomever you are that has helped get you this, our students to where they're at, we certainly appreciate all your support because it does take everyone working together to make it possible to, to educate middle school students. We know that uh, these last three years have been very instrumental. We've seen a ton of growth in our students, not only physical growth, but also that emotional, social, and intellectual growth that we expect during these formative years. We've got a lot of kids who are certainly ready to take on the world around them. They're gonna do a great job taking on all the challenges that high school presents uh, and meet those head on because they are successful and they've found that success, they've found that confidence to move forward in all that they do. So in closing, I wanna wish everyone good luck. Uh, certainly in these un uncertain times, we wanna make sure that, that everyone is staying healthy and safe and we wanna make sure that you know how much we appreciate and we love you guys. Uh, and we certainly wanna make sure that you are um, prepared for everything that comes your way and you have demonstrated that to the fullest. So we certainly appreciate all that the class of 2020 has done for Westport and we wish you nothing but the best in high school. Thank you guys very much.
Always had high, high hopes. Had to have high, high hopes for a living. Didn't know how, but I always had a feeling I was gonna be that one in a million. Always had high, high hopes. Had to have high, high hopes for a living. Shooting from the stars when I couldn't be the killing. Didn't have a dime, but I always had a vision. Always had. Hey guys, it's your girl, it's your classmate McKenna. I'm here to talk about our eighth grade experience as penguins. Due to our current situation, we were unable to make more memories like the time we went to Lexington for a field trip. This field trip included us doing activities such as making rockets, smashing pumpkins, and riding some rides. Or all the times we had our award ceremonies, I personally loved those because it made me feel good about myself and also accomplished. I remember when we would get so hyped for each other and it always took the teachers a long time to get us quiet. The most fun time was our pep rallies. We would love to be the loudest and the most hype. I remember when we won the spirit stick and some of us took pictures with it. Last but not least, let's talk about some lessons that our teachers taught us. Me personally, I feel like the one that helped me the most was you don't need to always say what's on your mind. That helped me learn maturity and also got me out of a lot of trouble. This is my speech and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks. And I hope you guys enjoy my video. Penguins team would like to present a new award this year, um, an NTI shout out uh, for a student who has done well in all of his classes um, through NTI. Um, he has kept in contact. He has done well on what he's turned in. Um, these are unprecedented times and um, this student has really stepped up and uh, done a great job. We would like to give a shout out to Timothy Dye. Congratulations. This year's Penguins Math Awards will go to two students who consistently scored proficient and distinguished all year, who were always active participants in class, um, and always did a good job of helping their classmates um, whenever they needed it. So I'd like to give this year's Penguins Math Awards to Shin Hao Lee, and Jasmine Fuentes Rodriguez. Congratulations, you two. Good students of history have the ability to take the lessons of the past and apply them to events of today. I am pleased to give the Social Studies Award to two amazing thinkers, Cooper Murphy and Eileen Silva Palacios. Thank you. The next award will be for Outstanding Science Student of the Year for Penguins Class of 2020. The two students who have been selected for this consistently have high scores on their assessments. They're active participants in their class and in their learning. They have drive and have shown motivation to succeed in all that they do, and they're clear leaders among their peers. I am extremely proud and happy to announce that Parsa Asgari and Danielle Davis are Penguin Science Students of the Year's Class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations, Penguins. I would like to present my English award to two students who um, have worked very hard all year. Um, the first one, he has gone above and beyond, always willing to go that extra mile, and I am proud to present my English award to Christopher Duval. My second award goes to a young lady who has done well in the classroom all year, but just really stepped up during NTI and um, definitely kept in contact, did her work, did it well. Um, and I would like to present my English award to Tiasia Mott. I am 
proud to present our ESL awards this year. These awards are going to two students who have worked incredibly hard. They've shown up to school with a positive attitude, they ask questions when they need help, and they make sure to get all of their work done. They've made amazing progress and they're just two all-around great kids. So I'm proud to present this award to Abayete Kura Finkler and Kenya Garcia Perez. Congratulations. Our next award is our most improved student. We're proud of all of our Penguins on how much they've grown since the beginning of eighth grade, and we know that you'll do great things in high school. However, one student stood out to us in particular on how much she's grown. This student always asks for advice from all of her teachers and feedback on how she could do better. We're proud to announce that our Penguins most improved student is Marcella Carter. Congratulations. This year's Penguin Citizenship Award uh, will go to a student who is always respectful to his peers, always willing to put others first, whether that be helping his classmates or his teachers. So this year's Citizenship Award I'd like to give to Enrique Ramirez. Congratulations. I'm Miss Falding, 8th grade counselor at Westport Middle School. And although we can't be together, I still wanted to recognize a few students on the Penguins team. The first students I want to recognize were in a group called the Smile Makers and Cupcakes. And each week they helped spread kindness anonymously among their peers and teachers. They made cards, gave out candy, and were always on the lookout for other students who also showed kindness. The Penguins Smile Makers and Cupcakes were Lyric Bentley, Tiasia Miles and Miracle Hines. Now I want to recognize a student for the Virtual Counselors Award. This student is the epitome of helper both in the classroom and out. She volunteered in the library and could often be found helping students and teachers alike. She was a quiet presence, but a known advocate for positive change in our school. The Virtual Counselors Award goes to, again, Lyric Bentley. Thank you for going above and beyond our expectations and congratulations, Penguins Class of 2020. It is my distinct pleasure to award this year's Principal Award for the Penguins team. Now, when I talk to the Penguins teachers and we discuss different criteria for, for the recipient of the Principal's Award, one of the things we always take into consideration is that we want a student that's well-rounded, that is solid in the classroom and solid out of the classroom, that sets an example for their peers. And this year's recipient is just that and then some. This student is extremely uh, talented in the classroom. They hold themselves to extremely high academic expectations, but also are not afraid to ask for help when needed. They are extremely respectful in and out of their classroom to all their peers, to our staff and in uh, the building uh, and, and in their classrooms. Uh, they are often um, tasked with, with various responsibilities and always step up uh, and exceed those expectations. This student has overcome a number of challenges and has set a growth mindset that will suit them well as they head on into high school. So it is my distinct privilege to recognize this year's Penguins Principal Award recipient. I want to wish congratulations to Kara McGong. So congratulations.
class, you have made it to the end of the school year. I know this is not how we all expected to be celebrating the ending of the school year, but always remember your times at Westport. Remember, we taught you to be bold. We taught you to be courageous, and we've taught you to be your best. So Westport class of 2020, we honor you, we salute you, and good luck in high school.